everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today is going to be a video on Dermacol, how to spot a fake from the real one. Now, uh, I've seen loads of people panicking across the internet because they didn't realize that they have fakes, that Dermacol has a fake. Even I didn't realize that there were fakes out there because when I got mined, there were no fakes whatsoever. There were like two sellers on eBay and then one or two on Amazon that sold them and that was that. So I decided to buy a fake. I specifically know it's a fake because uh, a, a lady from a group got one and uh, she sent me the link so I can buy it so I can tell you guys uh, from what I see how you can spot like a fake dermacol. The first thing that you should look after is the price. Because it's mostly sold on Amazon and eBay, uh, the price of an original one varies from £8 to £15. As with most things on eBay on, and Amazon, uh, the things sold on there vary, the price vary, even though it's from the same seller, the price varies because of the stock and because of the shades. So I'm guessing that's the case here. Um, you can get like from the same seller a different shade in for eight pounds or 15 pounds or 13 pounds or whatever. Now, the first, as I said, the first thing is the price. If you see it being under five pounds, then it's absolutely for sure a fake because I've seen loads of stuff. Even my, I paid like 250 for mine or almost three pounds for mine and it's, yeah. Let's get on to the packaging. I got mine in shade 210 only because I have two uh, tubes of 210 and also um, uh, the packaging. So I wanted to see like the difference even on the tube if they're like even in the, through the original ones and in the fake ones to see if there are any differences. But yeah, starting with the packaging. The packaging, if you look at it, it seems absolutely identical. The cardboard is mainly the same. The like texture of the cardboard is almost identical. This is the real one. This is the fake one. As you can see, the fake one is this, the cardboard is slightly more darker versus the real one, which has a little bit more of a yellow undertone to it. Now, if we flip them like this, you will see that the real one here, the label is absolutely straight and I'll, and the fake one is just stick there, stem there randomly. Also, if you look at the label, it's almost identical, a part of the serial code is different and also the batch here, this one says, let me see, one has 110 and one has 110A. Yeah. So that's a little bit of a difference there. So definitely if the real one doesn't have a letter in the, when it tells you the shade and the serial, then there, that, <clears throat> that is another clue that is fake. Also another difference that I've spotted is like the hologramic um, sticker that you get on the top. The real one is perfectly sticked. You can't even tell it's a sticker. It it's, looks like part of the packaging. And the fake one is just slapped there again very uh, unprecise um, and it looks it looks weird when you look at it because it also covers the like the box and also it shines differently uh, the hologramic thing looks really nice it has the dermacol writing uh, perfectly and the other one is sticked now I see that it, it's actually <clears throat> it's actually sticked upside down and you can't even see dermacol anywhere is just cut through the writing and it's also upside down so that is another thing that is different okay let's look at the tube now the tube i will show you all the three that i have this one is the fake one this one is the real one and this is my old one yeah now the first thing that you would need to look after is the shade it must have this is the real one and up here, focus, yes, up there, it tells you like all the serial stuff and then you have the shade there. Now, the fake one doesn't have the shade on the tube. It doesn't, say, it, it nowhere mentions 210 on the tube there. It just gives you when it expires and then a serial code, a serial code that is absolutely different. I looked through like my old 210 and my new 210, if I look at them, the serial number ends in 486 at all of them. Uh, 
and if I look at my little Dermacol pot here with all my shades, all of them end in 4, 8, 6. Yes, all of them that I have here, which are real, end in 4, 8, 6. So they have the serial number completely different, but they all end in 4, 8, 6. And this one doesn't. It ends in 4, 6, 5. Now, looking at the tube, uh, this one is slightly thinner and the product it's is much more like it's stuffed in there i can feel it like it's like fat it's very full up and let me let me show you another one this is this is um just another another random color and it's as you can see it's not so like stuffed with product as you can see it kind of looks like a normal like a tube like a toothpaste tube and this one as you can see even at the end is kind of like straight and stuffed with product now another thing is that the fake one versus the real one is slightly slightly thinner so there's oh and look how they look in the sun as you can see this one is much more transparent than this this is the real one as you can see also the um, the tubes are very very similar again if you don't have a real one next to you to actually compare it with like a hundred percent it's very very difficult to notice the differences but the cap from the real one versus the fake one is slightly with less glitter and it looks more cheap um, and as you can see is slimmer focus as you can see it's slimmer now another difference that is quite quite obvious is look at this so yeah this is the real one which is absolutely straight and the writing is absolutely i'm keeping them straight both of them i'm keeping them how i'm supposed to keep them and this one has the writing like way down the label here is way down and everything is just absolutely ridiculous. So this is the real one that says Dermacol perfectly there and that one is just way... I mean the, the writing goes, it starts from here and it goes to like here when it should be on the middle like this one, it should be like Dermacol and then the label here and the writing on the middle and it's just way over the side and the label is there and the writing is there and all that also when you when you look at it it's folded here differently so all the folds that i have from all the the other ones are very very wide as you can see and they're perfectly folded opposed to this one that is has like a very thin fold and it's fat and looks absolutely weird another thing that i have noticed in the consistency of it is that it smells completely different all the dermacols have the absolute exactly the same smell it's a really nice sense sort of like something something but it's specific to dermacol this one also has a scent to it but it's completely different and i notice it straight away i'm gonna swatch it oh and also when you open the fake one it also you can hear like the the lid like squeaking away and you can feel that it's cheap it's very difficult to open and it squeaks and you can feel like the cheapness of it opposed to this one that has absolutely no problem now i'm just gonna swatch it quickly and i'm gonna wash my hands even quicker because i don't want this on my skin i'm gonna talk about that in a second no these are the shades here the yellowish um the more yellow toned one is the real one and this is the fake one what i'm noticing straight away is that the real one has a little bit more of a pasty consistency that it's supposed to have and the other one is a tad bit more liquidy let's blend them and see how they go so i'm just blending the fake one and blending the real one again real fake what i'm noticing here is that the the fake one has a little bit more of um not oily but kind of a slimy consistency opposed to the real one which is it's like normal consistency like a cream but also mousse but also i don't know it's like a specific consistency that all, all just that only dermacol has so 
this one is just a little bit more like slimy and rubbery compared to the other one that you that feels very nice to blend and easy to blend yeah sorry my camera stopped again so yeah uh, i went now and i washed my hands and i also noticed because dermacol is supposed to be i mean it is um water resistant um i washed my hands and i can definitely see that i still have like signs of the real one here and also kind of an oily texture and the fake one completely washed away now the thing is these i have to tell you it's not it is a big it is a difference in consistency also how it blends and how the skin came through i mean it came through the fake one and the real one absolutely was covered everything so uh yeah but to be honest it's a pretty damn good fake it's wow i mean if i hadn't have the 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 real one to compare it with i would have probably thought it was real just by looking at it and also um a fake one i've seen online that the fake one does not cover like tattoos and everything at all so that i could see when i swatched it because my skin came through even though the consistency was kind of similar yeah but leaving that aside a quick thing about fakes uh, maybe some of you don't know this, but fake makeup is not the same thing as buying a fake purse or a fake pair of shoes or some fake, you know, anything. The thing is, with fake cosmetics, companies that make them, make them with a lot of dangerous stuff in them. So with a lot of bad chemicals and a lot of um, nasty stuff, they found like lead inside, they found... Um, rat urine they found rat feces they found human uh, urine and feces in these uh, fake cosmetics all the fake things that you see on the internet and you think that you might get a bargain by getting something you know like from that brand but it's fake and it might be the same or maybe less quality just i would personally advise to stay away from them like there are a lot of companies that create dupes in like same colors same formulas same this or that it's just slightly cheaper and it's not from the same company but those are a hundred percent safe these ones however you never know what you can get inside them they can be very dangerous i know like a lot of people that had very bad reactions they ended up with burns on their on their faces they ended up with extremely bad rashes and they ended up even uh, in the hospital or some i know that some even died because of the reactions that they have and also a bad thing that might happen is like you may not see anything on your skin like right away a re immediate reaction but the product as you use it constantly may be absorbed in your system and causing permanent damage in the future please my advice is if you want to buy something just go for a dupe if you can't afford a real product because it's 100% much more safer so this is it with the video today my camera is gonna die any moment so that's why i'm trying to wrap it up uh, if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments down below uh thank you very much for watching if you want to see more videos please don't forget to subscribe and yeah i shall see you next time bye